Dr Henning Meyer is head of the European programme at the Global Policy Institute here in London. As you can see, he joins me in the studio now. So is it the bankers' bonuses that's going to cause the most disagreements at this uh, preliminary G20 meeting, do you think? I would have thought that this is the area where there is the most agreement. Um, we've seen in the graphic that there are different measures that are proposed in different countries, but overall there seems to be some sort of consensus that there was excessive pay and we have to do something against that. Even in the US, because of course uh, originally Obama I think was, was very against the idea of having uh, excessive pay and bonuses, and now he seems to sort of scale that back a bit. Presumably he's under pressure from, a, from US businesses. Exactly. I mean, in the case of uh, President Obama, you have to see it in the context of his own national political circumstances, and he's under pressure with his health care reform and uh, probably has to find a, a moderate way of, uh, of pursuing his political agenda as a whole. So um, I think the, his rowing back, if you want to coin it like that, on the bonuses has to be seen in this context. It is, of course, only talks about talks at another G20 meeting later this month. So how much are we really going to learn, do you think, about a possible agreements coming out of this meeting? Are we going to get any indication? Well, I guess it, the, the, if there are big ideas coming out of this meeting, that is an indication that the G20 coming up in Pittsburgh might be successful, because it's very unlikely that the leaders just meet in Pittsburgh and then come to an agreement ad hoc. So normally all these um, agreements they, they reach at the G20 level have a lot of preparation time, and this is one of the most important preparation meetings. So if there is an agreement, or there might be uh, some progress in the G20, we might as well just hear something uh, about that after this meeting. But will that actually happen, do you think? Because they tend to keep uh, cards very close to their chest until they want to come out with some united front, even though we know behind the scenes, of course, they're, they're, they're fighting yeah. it out. Well, the problem is not necessarily what they're talking about. The problem is what they're not talking about. Yes. Um, it's all fine and good talking about uh, capping bonuses for bankers, but what about what Adair uh, Turner uh, recently called socially useless uh, banking activity as such? Uh, what about restructuring banks themselves, what other commentators called separating the casino from the utility? Uh, what about major reforms in the international institutional setup? Uh, these seem not to be on the agenda, and it's, uh, from my point of view, it's disappointing that these topics are not addressed. It's interesting, isn't it, as well? They, they seemed fairly united when they met for earlier in the year, partly because everybody was in the same boat at that time. Everybody was in trouble, but now you've got the likes of Germany coming out of recession. There is disagreement on how to progress from now, because people are in different boats, and they're now looking after their own national interests, and then they're not looking at it maybe so much from a global perspective. Yeah, I mean we, in, in terms of the fiscal stimulus packages mm. we see a very similar issue that we had at the beginning. If you remember Germany was very reluctant to actually pass some of these measures only uh, in the new year um, Angela Merkel uh, could get herself to uh, introduce some fiscal stimulus measures and it is absolutely right to say that the way these fiscal stimulus packages are phased out now is also very very important to manage but as you rightly point out different economic circumstances in different countries, Germany, France, Japan have uh, got back to economic growth, Britain still lagging behind. It's going to be a difficult process of managing this. All right, uh, Dr. Henning Meyer, must leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.